Hello. Apart from looking like a gnome, I'm hoping this is clearly audible. I am recording this for my new channel. Or old channel, six months later, if the new channel didn't do very well. Now, if you were here as newbie, hello, my name's Gandalf, the Ginge. Uh, if you are here for my old channel, then you know that I am a fan of technology. And I am 100% convinced that folding phones, or flip phones, you know, just screens in general, are the future. But I'm going to argue why they are not the current. Now, as you can see, I am using, well, yeah, I'm not using it because I'm recording on a tablet, the Galaxy Z Flip 4. Now, this thing, I adore this thing, and I had no intention of replacing this. At all. Now, if you are coming from my old channel, you know this is a kind of <gasps> moment because I have unboxed a lot of phones over the last 10 years. A lot of phones. Now, please bear with me with the sound because this is the first time using. With a semi decent setup. Now, folding phones as they are come in two variations flip or, I mean, fold. So, the general thing is you either get a normal phone and fold into a tablet or you get a small phone fold into a normal phone there are it depends where you're from if you're in the west most developed countries the only options you really have is Samsung if you're in Asia China area you have slightly more with, uh, I believe, Oppo, Huawei, and Xiaomi have some. But if you're in the West, you're basically just limited to Samsung, unless you're happy to use non-Google Play. Now, the idea of this kind of video is to be informative and relaxing and if it works for both good if it works for one good if it doesn't work at all well go fuck yourself so i th this is history the folding and flip phones are a work in progress they are i would not say that they are ready for general use everyday people you know the people that will buy the galaxy alpha galaxy s phones because there are a lot of things that can go wrong so when the samsung z fold released i believe it was the end of 2019 start 2020 when it released that there were a lot of issues a lot of issues where most of them had to be sent back including reviewers which were then sent back to them <laughs> uh, with the defects sorted sorted now the the fold and flip series i feel fold phones are a proof of concept 
where the people who buy them are the beta testers. Those who want to be at the cutting edge of technology. And that's, that's kind of like me. I mean, I can't afford the shit. And no one has offered me a review. Although this channel, you know, gets really big. That would be really, really cool. And I'm acting like this microphone is working how I want it to work. Because I can't hear it because I don't have anything plugged in. So, tell me how it works. Yeah. I bought the Z Fold first one. Now, it was a fully functional 7.2 inch screen when it opened and when closed the screen on it was I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to draw so, so you had this is the front screen can't zoom in the That was kind of the usable screen on it. It was very small. And it had no protection whatsoever. And I loved it. Like, the small screen was like a smartwatch. Very similar to what the Fold 4 screen was. You know, with... That's a good start. Menus and stuff. And then if you want to do anything, you opened it. <clears throat> and uh, there was no dust proof, there was no wall proofing or anything like that. And I bought this phone because I'm a tech enthusiast. And I work in retail. And uh, I owned it for a good couple of months, which is a long time for me. And it worked well, really well. However, there was one thing that destroyed it. How? Yeah. It wasn't me working 20 cages, lifting heavy items. Yeah. <laughs> but I just have. What killed it? What killed it? I'm fat and I'm hairy. So I sweat. And I had a delay. Where my phone? Just there. What killed it was my sweat. <laughs> where the USB-C charger wouldn't work, but it would charge up via, it would charge up via <laughs> wireless charging, which took a very, very long time. A very long time. And uh, I was like, shit, like of all the things to kill it, my fat man swag. <laughs> so stuck it in rice. That's what I got to Stuck it in rice for a week. Because I changed phone. It's like, I need a wired charger. I can't wait for a phone to take seven hours to charge. And I don't know what I don't do. Probably an iPhone or a Sony. <laughs> and uh, it worked. And I started. And I was switching here, yeah, phone to phone to phone to phone to phone to phone. And I went to the iPhone 13 Pro Max. But Android, Android is where my heart is at. Android is where my heart is at. So I, ASMR show, or Hairy Hands ASMR show, he moved away recently. We don't talk very often. And that's a shame because... We worked well together. I need to reach out to him. I bought or swapped a laptop for an iPad and I swapped that iPad for the Samsung Fold 2. Now this, oh, the upgrade, the upgrade, the Fold 2 compared to the Fold 1. It's like comparing the iPhone 5 to the iPhone 3G. Uh oh, this was boiler again. It was.
That's incredible. 120 hertz screen on the inside, 6.2 inch screen on the outside, and um, I loved it. However, however, <laughs> when I owned it, I changed career. I was in. I was in retail at the time. But I switched to security, which is where I currently am now. Kind of, kind of security, you know, scuffles and shit like that. Now, what I was doing in this job was no different to what I was doing in retail, where. I was very, when in retail, if I saw someone shoving something in their coat, I was like, we can't give it back. You are not leaving with that. And I would tackle them. However, my new role also included cleaning. And the Samsung Fold, Z Fold 2, had no water protection. And it lasted several months before, before, now, when I'm cleaning. I'm not just talking, you know, sweeping and mopping. I'm talking, you know, big machines. <laughs> trying and having to hose them down. The Vault 2 did not survive that. And there were a few close calls where I almost dropped it into 160 litres of bleach and water where I sold it. For good reason. So let's watch the other phone again. But iOS is boring. Kind of like this story. Now, if you're into a tech story, that's not what I. You're here for the relaxation and a fat man, a fat bearded man who likes text. And I've got to say, I have no idea how the sound's going to be here. And I probably won't edit it or listen to it. So you need to tell me it's like, that's all going to go. <laughs> anyway, uh, I thought, right, okay, what should I do next? I switched away from it. I didn't last very long because iOS just doesn't agree with me. <laughs> Sorry, iOS doesn't agree with me. I need drag and drop, I need it, you know, the open world that iOS doesn't do. That's why I bought, and I thought, I have to be on the cutting edge of tech. I bought the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. And, exact same size. Now, you can't get in this pink. This is the old And the phone came, and the screen, I adored it. I adored it. However, however. My shifts are 12 hours long, minimum, minimum, and the battery on this phone, not good, no, 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 not good, awful, however, the phone itself, you know, IP, something, something, And uh, I kept it for a while, but I had to charge it, you know, night and then day. And then <laughs> it survived. The cleaning, it survived. The scuffles, dealing with themes and, you know, crackheads and stuff, and new security, it survived. However, what it didn't survive was drunk me showing how much it could survive. I was in a pub with a friend, and um, they went, oh, it's at the fold, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, it's no good. Oh, I heard it can't take much of a beer, and I was like, yeah, it can. I was in the pub, and I grabbed it, and I threw it onto the floor, <laughs> and then I threw it up in the air, and then onto the floor, and I picked them, and I went, there, yeah, look at this. They went, oh, that's cool. So we, we had a few more drinks with these guys. And at the end of the night, when they were kicking out, we went outside. And I got, they went, I got to look at this friend. 
and I grabbed the phone and I threw it up in the air. And it must have gone 20, 25 foot in the air. And I hundred oh, concrete. And I went and I picked up, bear in mind it was in a case very similar to this. And I picked it up and the screen was fine. And that's how I was going. But it wouldn't open more. Wait, well, yeah. Kind of than that. But the screen was fine. So, you know, I fucked that thing. And I went, shit. And then the screen started going black and I got rid of it. Now, you know, that phone would last ages. But I don't believe, you know, maybe people go, oh, you know, it didn't last that, that person throwing it. But the average person doesn't throw their phone 10 meters into the air onto concrete. Hey? So. <laughs> so. I had the S21 Pro Max. No, 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 the S21 Pro Ultra. The S21 Pro Ultra. I loved it. But the thing was massive and I didn't use it for it, so yada yada yada. So I took a risk back at the start of October and I bought the this this phone here actually I'll show you what it looks like. This is how is this video now? Oh it doesn't matter. This is the S4 oh sorry. S20 The Flip Z Flip 4 Pro Z Flip 4 Now Comes a couple of colours I Loved it So I bought it on a whim Of someone who got me a good price And uh, You know uh, let's go on. So the specs are decent cameras. It's got a gig of RAM, a three thousand seven hundred fifty milliamp battery, which is small, but still be about the same size as the S twenty two. Basic. Uh, Snapdragon. Gen 1 Plus like It's a powerhouse Prismal phone But the difference being is The battery on it Compared to the Port 3 9 day Like I would easily get A day and a half out of this From average use However the blue bit Hang on let's go I'm selling this, so it doesn't matter. And I have used this phone. I can't even get it off. I've used this phone since the start of October. The only issue I've had is this tiny, tiny dick there. Now, I work in security. I do 70 to 90 hour weeks. You know, sometimes I want the doors to bounce about. This has been in my pocket during rocks, running, emergencies, no issue. What killed it? And I still I have a theory. Like I use this radio, so I was in the control room, you know, with these TVs, and I'm on the phone. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Boop. Okay, there's someone I need to pay attention. So I go put it down, and I type in the details. Hi, who are you? And then I open the phone 
And I have that. Hey, and my response, like, if I broke something, if I dropped something, and, you know, I dropped the phone, picked it up, it's broken, I'm like, oh, fuck. Oh, you. F-. But all I could do was laugh. I just kind of went, oh, yeah, that guy, yeah. I went, what the fuck? I spoke, and you can hear. There's something in there. But I can't tell you what it was because it's not, it's only been in my pocket. Like, when it was working. And when it wasn't working, it was a 10 minutes difference and I was sat in an office. So. <laughs> we're, we're like up to 20 minutes here, I think, on this video. 22 minutes. So. These phones are so cool. But they do come with... Randomly, I'm a man who works in security and scuffles, yeah? But if you sit at a table... They might break. <laughs> so, this is a very, very long way of saying the technology of the future is fucking cool. But you pay and you risk. But, so, um, if you say to me, should I get a phone and phone? If you can afford it, I say yes. If you can't afford to replace it, I say no. Hmm. I hope this has been informative for some other phone, or at least relaxing for anyone interested in listening. Goodbye and take care. Like and subscribe for some shite.